Hey, what's up guys and welcome to April Education's Daily Tech Tips. And in today's tech tip, we're learning how to convert a JPG or PNG or any image file for that matter into a PDF document. And we're doing this in Windows 10 without installing anything. I know there are apps out there and tools that you can use to do this. But if you're like me and you don't want to have third party installs or sketchy apps downloading stuff into your computer, then this tutorial is for you. So on your Windows 10 machine, find the image that you want to convert into a PDF, open it, confirm that's the image you want to convert to PDF. Now what you want to do is right click on the image and make sure you open with the Photos app, the default Photos app that comes with your Windows 10 installation. So click on Photos. And when that image is open in the Photos app, you have the opportunity to do a little bit of cropping and editing if you wish to. But if you're happy with the image, you can go ahead and click on the print menu. And from the print menu, you can now choose whether you want this uh, to be in landscape mode or portrait mode. You can choose the size of the pages in your PDF document. You can choose how you want the photo to appear. If you need any page margins, you can choose them. If you need to shrink to fit or maybe you want to fill page, just do what you need to do to make your PDF document exactly the way you want it to look. And when you're done with all that, go to the printer menu. This is where you select the printer you want to use to print normally. But for today, since we're not printing, we're actually printing to PDF, which means we are creating a PDF document from the image. Select Microsoft Print to PDF. When that's selected, you can go ahead and click on print. And it's not going to ask you where you want to save your PDF document. So I'll save mine on the desktop and call it and call it that. And then I'll click on save and that image is now converted into a PDF document, which is right here. So when I click on this, I'll use any PDF viewer like a browser or the Adobe Acrobat to open my PDF document. So that's my PDF document that was previously an image. Now, what if you need to convert multiple images into a PDF document? What do you do? Now for this one, instead of right clicking and selecting photos, you need to open the photos app first. And the photos app automatically imports all the images in the pictures folder on your computer. So all the images in your pictures folder will be found right there. Now, if the images you want to convert to a PDF document are not in the pictures folder, you can import from any folder or even from an external USB drive if you have one. So I'll just go to import and I'll go to my volume D Photoshop and I'm interested in converting the two images in that folder into a PDF document. So I'll add these folders to pictures. Now I look for the images of that folder that I've just added and here they are. So what I need to do now is select the images I need. So I'll select two images for instance, you can select three, four, even 10 images. And what you wanna do now is click on print again and then choose your orientation once again, choose your size of page, choose the photo size, all that stuff. But now, as you can see, I have two pages. That's page one, that's page two, and you can go three, four, as many pages as you have images for. And when I'm happy with everything, once again, I go back to Microsoft Print to PDF, make sure that's selected, and then click on Print, choose where I want to save, give a name to my PDF document, I'll call this N and I'll click on save and now here's my PDF document called N and B so when I open that it's going to be my PDF document with the images that I've just converted so that's how to convert a JPG or a PNG or any image whatsoever into a PDF document thanks for watching you can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below the video don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.